My name is Ed Manessa. I'm the Executive Director of the Institute for Media, Culture, and Ethics at Bellarmine University. The Institute was founded in 2007 as a parallel program to the Department of Communication. It was founded to add value to the student experience and to reach out to the greater Louisville community. As the Department of Communication grew into a fully staffed School of Communication, the Institute's role became even more important. The Institute has an array of national media figures who serve as fellows and advisors. Fellows in the Institute spend time in classes and meet one-on-one -on -one with students. Often, the fellows hold a public event to share their thoughts with the greater Louisville community. Fellows in the Institute have included Andrew Hayward, Helen Whitney, John Lansing, Jean Polisinski, Perry Bacon, John Gaunt, and Roger Newman. Uh, the role of the journalist is to find those stories, find those interesting people. Andrew is the retired president of CBS News. Andrew is also a founding advisor to the Institute. John Lansing is the former president of Scripps Interactive and the former president and CEO of the Cable Telecommunications Association of Marketing. Currently, he is the chief executive of the Broadcasting Board of Governors, the agency that oversees the United States government-supported civilian international news media, such as Voice of America and Radio Free Europe. John is also a Bellarmine graduate, a member of the University Board of Trustees, and an advisor to the Institute. We can all self-publish now, and frankly, we can reach larger audiences Others have included Gene Polisinski, the Chief Operating Officer of the Museum in Washington, D.C. He, too, was an advisor. Another advisor is Perry Bacon, a seasoned political reporter formerly with the Washington Post and currently the senior political reporter for NBC News in Washington. We can blast messages willy-nilly to people and get it on their phones. John Gunt, a Seattle-based digital thought leader, is renowned in the field of mobile technology and multi-level storytelling. He also serves as an advisor. He was a senior analyst for eMarketer and a fellow in the Institute for a year, teaching executives in Louisville about the development of mobile marketing. I try to aggregate small, smart people. I'm an aggregator. I bring smart people together with smart people and let them do their thing. Vicki Porter, director of the Knight Digital Media Center at the University of Southern California, has served as an advisor, too. It's unusual for me the way it happened. Um, generally, I choose all of my films. Other fellows who have come to the Institute included Helen Whitney, a renowned filmmaker who has won many national awards. During her time at Bellarmine, she debuted her film on Forgiveness, which aired a year later nationally on PBS. So without further ado, Roger, it's yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another celebrated writer and speaker, to be here. Roger Newman, an ethics professor from Columbia it. University and a national authority on the topic of terrorism, civil liberties, and the media, was a fellow in the Institute. He gave a public address on his perspective of 9-11 on its 10th anniversary. Five, six classes has been just a lot of fun. In addition, for four years, the Institute, along with the Humana Company and its foundation, hosted an essay contest for undergraduate women at Bellarmine. Five winners each year were escorted to New York City on the Humana corporate jet for a private reception and a lunch with the winners of the International Women in Media Foundation Courage and Journalism Awards. Uh, I was going to say, regarding the situation... The Institute also was instrumental in developing what was known as the Classroom of the Future, it was an opportunity for students to be connected by way of the internet to other classrooms throughout the world. Uh, okay, hello everyone. Hello. Hello. In the past, students at Bellarmine were connected to students in Beirut, Lebanon, and the Jordan Media Institute in Amman, Jordan. It was an opportunity for all students to see each other, speak to each other, and learn the culture of each country. The Institute 
has been instrumental in developing and funding the Fishbowl, which is an interactive, collaborative education facility in the School of Communication. The facility has received rave reviews from students and faculty as a progressive way for students to learn. The Institute also invests in students in many other ways, from assisting them in finding career paths to co-sponsorship events on campus that add value to the student experience, which is the mission of the Institute. The Institute is always looking for new ventures to add to the Bellarmine student experience. Thank you for visiting the site. I hope you will come back often.